Welcome back, everyone. This is Adrian Z. I am back on the Two Crafty Amplified Vanilla Server, and check this place out. This is pretty cool, right? Uh, this is actually pretty near my base, about 400 blocks away. I was uh, just doing a little exploring. This place is really cool. This would be a really nice place for a base, to be honest with you. Just kind of like right in this valley. Super cool, super cool. It's a shame we're going to have to wreck it. Uh, <laughs> got a nice little hole picked out right over here. This week I've been running around in the nether a bit. And I found some wither skulls. And I decided I like this little hole right here. I'm going to summon this guy right down here. Uh, but while I'm doing this, while I have all of your attention, I'm going to start doing something new. I want to mention this right at the beginning of the video. Um, from here on out, Every two crafty video I put out, I will be at the end of the video, starting in the next one, I will be reading at least one, what the, <laughs> the man just went flying by me, I don't know where he went or where he came from, oh there he is, what the heck, go away, go away, this is not time for you, thank you, alright, so, uh, what I want people to do is leave uh, comments on the video, ask me, any question you want, whether it's YouTube related, Minecraft related, gaming related, nothing to do with any of them, that's totally fine. And at the end of every Two Crafty video, I will read off at least one of those questions and answer it. And if it uh, seems to be something people are liking, I may expand that to some of my other series as well. So, let's get back to wrecking this beautiful landscape. I am going to just legit fight a wither this time. Uh, I've got just a couple things of milk in case I need it. Just some random potions that I've collected from like witches and stuff. I didn't brew these. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get this beacon. And I'm going to put it actually at our Enderman farm for some people. They wanted some regen and stuff over there. So I'm going to do that. So let's go ahead and just slap that on there since it's getting dark anyway. I'm going to run up here. I should probably put my bow on my bar. It would be a little more helpful there. Take me a second to run back again. I really should have brought a bed. Hang on just a minute. Alright, I'm back. He's somewhere. I just saw him. There he is. Oh, and there's creepers. The sun just came up. Ah! Okay. Take care of this creeper. I'm on my last backup sword and bow. Um, I think. I think, so I ran over the first time right ahead of my coolers. Back up. Right. I had my backup stuff, and it was in a cave. So I just threw it away. Got him. Got him. Ow, drink another potion. Got the star, at least. Um, when I came back over here, he was up where I just died. I should have brought some ender pearls. What was I thinking? Oh hey, free leather. Um, <laughs> he was up in the hole still when I came in the corner. Oh my goodness. Okay, well I'll come pick that stuff up. Um, he was up in the corner where I was fighting him, 
and he uh, was shooting at something. I think a, a mob spawned or something up there, and he was blasting that, so I'm pretty sure... Let me grab some ender pearls. I'm pretty sure I lost all of my stuff that was up there. Um, I need some wood to make the boot. I have no more planks. Eh, I'm gonna, it's safe over there. Just grab a bunch of wood. Um, so yeah, I'm going to run back over there one last time <laughs> since I just withered away. That was sweet. I wasn't paying attention to how low my health was getting. Uh, so, for the record, I think I've died... Would I die three, four times there? I don't know. Um, but I got a wither star, yeah! Alright, I'm gonna go find out if my stuff is still over there, and then I'll meet you back here with whatever I have left. Okay, what am I looking at right now? This is the outside of the Enderman farm. In the end, the island's off there out of render distance. And as you can see, you just saw uh, one of them thinks I looked at him. This is a terrible place. Hopefully, it won't teleport out here. Uh, so I just slapped down the beacon here in the end. Okay, are we good? Are we good? All right, I'm not gonna look over there anymore. Um, and what I'm gonna do? So I just came out to the side so it wouldn't be in the way. Um, as for my stuff. I was right, this is the unenchanted diamond armor set I tossed on before I went over there. And then I had the, the sword and the bow here as backups. This, I did have, I did lose my fortune pick. All of my stuff was gone when I got over there. This, I had two extra of these fortune picks. So I'm set there. But, I had, I have one efficiency unbreaking pick in my ender chest but I like to have at least two of those so I brought a bunch of picks over to enchant and then I don't have any backup shovels or axes other than my silk touch shovel so we're gonna enchant a few of those and see what we get but I'm slapping this beacon right here I need to cover it in water now uh, the reason that it is here is the way the enderman farm got built um, without really getting into it basically I uh, half of the endermen that fall into the farm here end up as two hit kills instead of one hit kills this is so scary to walk across and um, we don't like that I don't like that and so I am going to put this beacon on strength I need to test and see if I can get away with using um, strength one or if I need it to be strength 2. If I need it to be strength 2, then it'll just be strength 2. If I can get away with strength 1, then we'll use strength 1 and regen. But I'll get this all set up and get some enchanting done, and then I will be back with you. Show you what I got. Alright, I'm done. I got the beacon going. I tested it out. It does work with strength one so they're all one hit kill now and I do have regeneration over here so that's nice uh, as far as the enchanting went I enchanted my armor and I got some uh, decent enchants the helmet and the pants both got some good stuff fortunately the chest and the long boots are only protection three but they will do for now I wasn't too worried about those as far as my tools went I enchanted shovels first. My first shovel I got um, Unbreaking 3 per, uh, Efficiency 3, but then I got Unbreaking 3 Efficiency 4 on the next one. Enchanted first axe, same thing. First pick, same thing. So that went really well, really quick and easy. Didn't even have to enchant everything. There's the uh, fail shovel. I brought this over just in case. I had this laying around from a previous enchanting session. Brought it just in case. Uh, I got, like, efficiency four with nothing else on it. I can put them together, but didn't need to. And, yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna actually, right now, you can see some people are starting to hop on the server. We are about to give Scar his tour of the Too Crafty server, so he knows where stuff is at. So, I'm gonna go take part in that, and then we will meet back at my base and get some real work done today. And if anything exciting happens in the tour, I'll stick in some quick highlights of that in between there. 
so I will see you in a minute. This two crafty was recorded in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> Welcome! Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 the um, studio audience was harmed in the making of this recording. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, welcome. We have this is the Two Crafty Tour. Welcome. Yeah. For this tour, we have old members and new members alike. We have Zadrian, Z, Zadcraft. We got we got a new guy, Scarvese. Hello. We got another new guy, technically the Jbot. Hello. We got another new person, Aniki Domo. Hello. And return the returning champion contract. <laughs> so this is Zade, Zade's shop, and of course this tour is sponsored by Zade Mart, so we got to show it off. Oops. It's lovely. Did you paint <laughs> these paintings yourself, Jbot? No, Jay did those, and he's terrible. I might add. Yeah, <laughs> uh, up here is some stairs, you know. Stairs. Wait, are the stairs up here, or are they yeah, on the way up here? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Technicalities. <laughs> this is his storage room. He sleeps here, too, but this isn't his bedroom because he doesn't have one, so... <laughs> That's kind of sad. He just kind of... Sometimes he just sleeps on the floor, right? I don't understand. Yep. Yeah. Humans are weird. Says the chinchilla. Um, <laughs> I think I think I might cut this this portal walk this uh, tunnel walk out of my video. Give a problem with scars, tunnel Harry. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> He's jealous. I thought it looked nice. He's like, oh, this this tunnel is terrible. I'm gonna cut this one out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't think that it was. It's, it's long. It's not. It's like as long as mine is almost. It's about the yeah. same. Uh, whether or not you know, I have the whole traveling through the tunnel. I am definitely leaving in the part where you say you're gonna cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Aniki Tomo's followers. This is here, and I'm a terrible person. <laughs> um. <laughs> Terrible chinchilla. Hey, I might not be human, but I'm a person. <laughs> the first stop at my base, of course, is the bathroom if anybody needs to use it. Oh, oh good. I've been holding it in for a while. Because <laughs> I thought, you know, what's the place that I absolutely would need if I had a base? A uh, urinal's missing. It's a, it's under. Uh, it's being repaired. Um, and then I have a chest room. I like how you and end the, up coming out of a different room than like the bathroom. I, was, I like how his bedroom's in the back of the bathroom. <laughs> 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 Alright, so as you just saw in that little video, I just had a couple little highlights. I didn't want to upload the whole tour because I'm sure a lot of the other people that were there will upload a whole bunch of it. So you're going to be able to see it on their channels anyway, so I just picked out a couple little highlights. Uh, but I would like to again welcome Scarvese. Anarchy and of course Jbot to the server, <laughs> and yeah, it's uh, I'm in the arena here. I have been struggling on what to do exactly next, but I wanted to show you. It's kind of hard to tell in the dark. The sun just went down, but I did get the stadium seating done. Um, it's hard to see the dark oak against the back black background if I can speak because it looks so dark but if we zoom in a little you can kind of see the texture there uh, if you have any thoughts on height let me know right away I think I was debating but I think it's probably high enough for my liking I'm thinking about I'm probably gonna add a uh, second level so I'm gonna go up and then a little bit above here it'll kind of come out and then I'm basically just gonna copy this whole process a second time above this which I think will be kind of cool and I've been working you can kind of just see I'm just experimenting around back here with 
where staircases up and down to the different levels might fit and how they might look and all of that fun stuff. So that's what's going on over here. I just wanted to update you on the arena, but that's got a long bit of experimenting to go, so I don't want to bore you with that. I actually have, I uh, originally I actually had some tunnels going through the seating on the sides, and I spent a couple hours trying to make it look good, and I just could not become happy with it, and I finally just ripped it all out and started over. So I don't want to just bore you with that kind of stuff. So we'll work on the arena together when I have some stuff to do, but I just wanted to give you a little progress update there. What we are actually going to do today is go up to the top of my castle and work up there. I'm going to start working on planning out the village that I want to build up there. I don't want to populate it just yet because I've got to make sure that it's not going to break the breeding cell by having doors too close and things like that, but of course that's all going to be changing in 1.8 anyway, so we'll have to change some things once the server updates when 1.8 comes out. So there's no rush on that, but I do want to start getting the actual building itself done. So we're going to go up there um, and whoa, get stuck in the portal. Okay, we're good. <laughs> when I came out for some reason, I computer was sucking up some bandwidth somewhere. That guy's in the floor. Took me like four tries to walk out of the portal. Always fun. Let's see, we want to go up here and show you. I've got the dirt here. I marked out the potential main paths that I want to take. And I've got some oak here. I need to get some more stairs. And I will show you what my plan for the road is. And hopefully this will look good. But if it doesn't, you know, I'll just rip it out and start over. That's what I do. So let's knock the dirt out right there. And we will have a row of half slabs. This is cobble again in previous episodes I mentioned. This is just a build on top of it. It's a bit of a canvas. So what we're going to do is put half slabs down the middle and then I probably should actually hmm I'm not sure I might want to turn that one so that it's kind of stared up possibly yeah we'll go with that for now let's see what that looks like I may spin that around we'll see but I'm thinking that I want to do the oak just uh, pure oak pathways like this that's the other way it would look I don't know I think I think it'll be easier to tell once I get the side blocks in then we'll be able to see what looks better but uh, basically go with this for the road let me just temporarily put a torch or two down since it's dark get a better look there we go and uh, yeah so then off to the side I'm gonna fill in some grass and then what I need to do is take the dirt that we have and see where I can fit some buildings just kind of mark out like for example if we have like maybe a little room on the side so we could have one that comes from the edge there and comes out to like here you know and have some grass filled in and then a slight path to the door I want to put a fountain at the very least in the middle over here which I might work on today so I can get the path around it which I think is what we're gonna do next. So let me show you. There's Adian. Let me just show you real quick down here. I added, I changed the grass around the pool. I expanded it. I had it just right around the edge. I decided it would look better. But I just made this whole area grass. And then I added this iron bar railing because in some of these places that's just like a really long drop. And then I just decided to have it go the whole way around added a couple acacia trees just to make the place look nice and I added this little sweet diving board right here pretty cool pretty cool you can just wee splash <laughs> but that's what's going on over here I need to decorate this a little bit more but I'm gonna wait until the village is forming I've got to get the turrets on this side of the wall I'm probably gonna have them come down on this side to up here and then kinda of make something underneath them 
so that they don't come down and block all this grass, but we'll see. I've got to mark those out after I finish recording today. But I am going to go grab some resources. i got to decide what to make this fountain out of, and then I will be right back with you, and we will do that. So, just a second. Okay, you may have noticed I gained a few levels. I decided I wanted to rebuild an old fountain, which was made out of quartz, and I decided I do want to rebuild it out of quartz, and it turns out I didn't have nearly as much quartz as I thought I did. So I made a little trip to the nether, and I farmed a bunch, so I think I have enough. I mentioned it's an old recreation. What this was is I played on a server very briefly a long time ago, and I created as part of a build a fountain that I really liked, and that build no longer exists anywhere it is dead, and all I have of it is a screenshot, so I'm going to try to recreate it from that screenshot. I think I can tell pretty much how it was, and anywhere that I can't, we'll just wing it and set it up new. So, yeah, we'll go with, we'll go with that. Uh, and hopefully I have enough quartz. If I don't, I will make some more. You know, I think I need like all that as stairs. I have a little bit more down in the storage room if it's not enough, but hopefully I won't have to go farm anymore. Um, but yeah, and funny thing about that build, actually, it was on kind of a, a public SMP server. It was protected. I mentioned in one of my other videos, I think maybe it was my modded video, that I've played on one modded server before. It was very lightly modded, and all it was was some bucket plugins that just kind of had uh, protection stuff. It was a plot server. And I just recently, the other day, I was talking to Scarvese, then one of the new people on the server, and he actually recognized my name from that public server, which is kind of interesting. I had no idea, like, he he saw me pretty much a few days after I joined the server. I didn't really pay any attention at the time. I didn't recognize the name. Talked to him for a second. I was kind of surprised that he remembered, but he just kind of came up to me one day. I was like, hey, Zaid, you, uh, you remember this server? And I was like, yes, I do. Why, <laughs> why do you ask? So it was kind of crazy. It was pretty cool, though. Um, how many of these do I need? Let's see. These make two each, right? Need four sixteen. Twelve. Wow. And then ten eleven twelve. And so yeah, we've we've apparently crossed paths a few times in the past, which was pretty cool to find out. But uh, this was from that server. The reason that it no longer exists is that server had a thing where basically if you didn't log in for I think it was like a month and your plot got reset. And it's been a lot more than a month since I logged into that server, so it is definitely gone. Uh, but yeah, uh, speaking of modded servers, the mod pack is going very well. If you haven't checked out my I Do Have One uh, episode out already, I have decided it will be Thursdays. So every Thursday you can look forward to the modded server, but the mod pack is going very well. Looks like just about everyone is having a ton of fun on it out of the people who have decided to play. I'm really enjoying it as well. As soon as I am done with this, that's where I am off to. I'm going to go uh, moving bases. So I'm going to go check on that stuff as soon as I'm done here. But, uh, why does that look lower? I don't know, it's just weird lighting. Mm, a few more. Hopefully I have enough quartz. I feel like I'm burning through this a little faster than I should be. Go with like three more. I don't want to overdo it. But uh, yeah, having a good time there. Looks like everyone's having a good time there, so that's all good. Am I putting this? Is this? Hang on. Let me look at this screenshot. Um, yeah, you know what? These are actually too high. These should be one lower. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to have to bury this in the cobblestone, but that should be okay. What other updates do I got this week? Um, the office I mentioned last week. I am, in fact, getting an office in my house, which is really cool. I said I'd be tweeting out some pictures. I have not done that yet, but 
I will be soon. I have already ripped out the carpet in that room. This is uh, the roof of the treat area downstairs. I've already ripped out the carpet in that room. I guess I can jump down here and pick up some of these. So it is sitting in a pile in there. I got really busy this week. I had to do some yard work, update some sprinkler system stuff, lots of lots of fun. Dang it, I just broke that step. Yeah, let's get back up here. Um, but it is coming along. I should hopefully be able to tweet the pictures of that progress pretty soon. So if you want to see what's going on there, uh, watch my Twitter feed this week. Those are coming. We are just We've got to decide. Um, the first thing I'm doing is it has some, uh, yeah, like I said, I just, wow, this quartz breaks so fast. Um, it had some uh, really ripped up stained carpet in it. So we're ripping that up. And we actually want to redo the carpet in pretty much our entire basement, which is where my office gets to go. And so. Um, we have to decide if we want to do it all at once or just do the floor in my basement and get to the rest of it next. Dang it. I want this. And we'll just pick up all this. So uh, hopefully that'll happen this week. But like I said, I had to fix some sprinklers before my yard dries out and dies. But that's, I think that's pretty much all that's going on. Let's rock this. Ugh, ugh. Okay, this is taking a second, and I I think the video is going to run long if I do this all, so I'm going to fill the floor in just a second. Okay, I got that in. Video is actually going a little longer, so I uh, made the little base structure here just a little bit. And let's see, actually, I think I need a little bit more of this. Uh, wait, do I? No, I don't. Okay, so what I should need to do is put a chisel in all these corners. And just real quick, friendly reminder from the start of the video, um, if you have any questions at all, if you want to make them YouTube related, that's fine. Minecraft related, that's fine. Other video games, that's fine. Or really any subject matter at all. Uh, ask me whatever you want in the comments section and I will choose at least one of those questions and answer it in the video, in the next video. And then of course, I uh, don't worry, I will answer all of your questions in the comments if I don't pick it for the video, so you're not going to be missing out. I am stuck in here now. Uh, so yeah, let me know your questions. And then of course, as always, any other comments, let me know. Um, let's see, am I doing this at the right level? Yeah. Fill this in. Let me know in the comments section or on Twitter, whichever you would prefer. So all that's left now is we need to stick in some water. Uh, let's see, if I start over here, I'll have an infinite source. There we go. Put that there. Flood some. Flood some. Give me this dirt. And there we go. And of course, let me know what you think of my little fountain. It's almost done here. I just need to tweak a couple things. That was supposed to go in the corner. How are we doing? Let's see. Probably going to have to fill in the middle. I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. I, I always mean to talk about something, and then like the last two seconds of the video, I'm like, oh yeah. But um, nothing's coming to me. I think I pretty much got it all. That, get that, get that, get that. Oh, we're gonna wash it in the middle. I do need a source block right there. We good? Okay, let's take this up top. Let's see if I can make this jump. There we go. Should be able to if I put in that corner, in that corner. Can I grab out of here? Yes. That corner and that fill my buckets. Put one in the middle just for fun. Dang it. Whatever. I'll fill it up. The bottom. No big deal. And the final touch. One glowstone right there. And then iron bars. If I can get over the edge here. There we go. One, two. One, two. One, two. 
And there we go. Let's have a look. Let me know what you guys think of this. You can see now it comes out all of the sides and the glowstone that it's got will light it up at night. Of course, it's like noon right now, so you can't tell that, but you'll see that later. This should make a nice little centerpiece to the village. And uh, we'll build it around there. It's not going to be a very big village, as you can see. Just kind of a little thing here. Probably a couple buildings there, a couple in each corner, pretty much. But should be fun. We'll, we'll, we'll make it work. And I think that's it for today. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next week. Have a good day. Have a good week. Bye-bye, everyone.